All right, we're gonna start with the inferior angle of the shoulder girdle. It'll be right here. And then we're gonna go to the superior angle, which is up at the top. And then the medial border of the shoulder girdle is gonna be right here. And then the lateral border is gonna be right here. And then we're gonna move up to the acromenon, which is right here. And then the spine of the scapula is gonna run right here. All right, then we're gonna move to the shoulder. We're gonna start with the greater tubercle, which is right here. And then the lesser tubercle, which is gonna be right here. And then deltoid tuberosity is gonna be right here at the indention. All right, and then we're gonna move to the muscles. All right, we're gonna start with the upper traps, right up here. And the origin is going to be the occipital protuberance. And then the insertion point for them is gonna be at the acromion process. And then an action for them would be scapular elevation. All right, moving to the lower traps. The origin is gonna be the spinosis process. And then the insertion is gonna be the spine of the scapula, right here. And then an action would be scapular depression. All right, moving to the rhomboids. The origin is gonna be between C7 and T5, about right in here. And then the insertion is gonna be the border of the scapula. And an action for them would be scapular retraction. All right, moving to the serratus anterior. An origin is gonna be the lateral part of the first eight ribs. And then the insertion is going to be the medial border of the scapula. And then action would be scapular protraction. And moving to the shoulder muscles, we're going to start with the anterior deltoid. An origin is going to be the outer third of the clavicle. And then um, the insertion is going to be deltoid tuberosity. And an action would be horizontal adduction. And then we're gonna go to the middle deltoid. The origin is gonna be at the acromion process. And the insertion is going to be at uh, deltoid tuberosity again. And an action would be a uh, shoulder abduction. And then we're gonna move to the posterior deltoid. The origin is gonna be the spine of the scapula. Uh, and the insertion is gonna be the deltoid tuberosity again. And the action is going to be shoulder abduction. Then we're going to go to the supraspinatus. It's a, a muscle in the rotator cuff. The origin is going to be the supraspinosus fossa, about right here. And the insertion is going to be at the greater tubercle. And then an action would be shoulder abduction. And then we're going to move to the infraspinatus. And uh, the origin would be the infraspinosis fossa, which is right under the supraspinosis fossa. And the insertion is going to be at the greater tubercle. And uh, an action would be horizontal abduction. And we're going to go to the teres minor. The origin is going to be at the axillary border or the medial border of... Uh, or the lateral border, I'm sorry, of the uh, scapula. And the insertion is going to be uh, at the greater tubercle again. Oh no. And then the action would be shoulder extension. And then we're gonna go to the subscapularis, which is another muscle of the rotator cuff. The origin is going to be the anterior portion of the subscapular fossa. And the insertion is going to be at the lesser tubercle. And an action would be internal rotation. And then lastly is the latissimus dorsi, dorsi, whichever. The origin is going to be the spinosis process. And then the insertion is going to be 
the bicipital groove, which is right uh, in between the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle. And an action would be shoulder extension.